With updating the firmware on a PTZ Optics camera, there are two steps you want to understand, and I've broken them down into two videos, and I'm going to walk you through both of them. The first thing you're going to want to do is download the upgrade tool. Now, I'm going to walk you through how to do this, where to go, and what to do step by step. All right, so first things first, where you want to go, you're going to want to go to ptzoptics.com forward slash firmware. Scroll down to the upgrade tool. All you have to do is click it and it will start downloading. Once it's done downloading, you're going to want to open it and you're going to want to double click and extract all. Finish. That'll get done extracting. And now you can go back in there and you can open the update file. And this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to get more into what this does in a little bit. We're going to be moving on to the actual firmware process. You're going to want to go to ptzoptics.com forward slash latest firmware files. That's where you're going to find all of your firmware. See right here, we'll list all of the different cameras that PTZ Optics has and the firmware associated with them. And now in this example, we're using a 12X NDI camera. So I'm going to want to download the 12X NDI firmware. Once that is done downloading, you're going to want to open the upgrade software. And now this is what I like about this. Sometimes, especially if you're using an NDI workflow, you're going to want to have multiple networks. Here in the studio, we have two basic networks. We have our house network, which actually is connected to the internet so we can stream. And then we have a separate network dedicated to our NDI workflows. In this case, that is the network in which I'm going to search my camera on. You're going to want to make sure that your camera is set to that network, either via a static IP address or DHCP. So you're going to hit search and there is my camera. It's right there. That simple. It popped up. You're going to want to right click and hit upgrade. Now in here, this is a step that is also important on type. You're going to want to make sure it's set to MTD. It was for me by default, but I've seen a couple of people that said it wasn't. You're going to want to make sure that is set to MTD. Now under load file, that is where you're going to open the download file you got from ptzoptics.com. So I'm going to open it. There is that file and I'm going to open, put it in there and hit upgrade. This can take anywhere from five to 15 minutes. It took mine about 15 minutes to go maybe a little under, but when it's done, you'll see this message pop up, hit OK, and now your camera is ready to go, and it is updated to the latest firmware, and that's how you do it from PTZ Optics.